On the border, 59 riot charges against a group of migrants who allegedly breached the border back in April have been dismissed again by a county judge. This after they were also thrown out last Thursday. ABC 7's Heriberto Perez joins us live from the courthouse with more details. Heriberto. Good afternoon, Paul. These migrants were scheduled to go on trial this morning before the charges were dismissed, but the El Paso District Attorney's Office can still reindict the migrants uh, on, on the red participation charges for a third time. And once again, Paul, as I said, these migrants were facing misdemeanor riot participation charges. The maximum punishment for those charges is 180 days in jail. The migrants have already been held in the county jail for nearly 60 days now. County Judge Ruben Morales dismissed these 59 cases because he ruled the court had no jurisdiction over the cases since the El Paso District Attorney's Office improperly filed them, which DA Hicks has constantly denied his office misfiled the indictments against the migrants. We spoke with public defender Kelly Childress to learn what her clients have told her about still being in jail after their charges have been dismissed three times. It's been really frustrating for them. Um, one of them made a comment um, last week about how uh, certain officials from, from higher up, certain national officials, had been making statements for a long time about, you know, come to America and, and we'll protect you here. Um, you know, these people... And Paul, these migrants are still facing federal illegal entry charges uh, and it isn't clear right now when they will be picked up or transferred from state to federal custody. We also reached out to the office of the DA Bill Hicks to learn more on these dismissals, but we didn't hear back in time for this newscast. Reporting live outside the Enrique Moreno County Courthouse, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Thank you, Heriberto.